Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Well, today is a special day for me. I'm here all by myself. Marfie's on a prayer and fasting. Shannon's in school. It's about noon. I don't usually eat lunch, but I thought I'd have a snack today. So I thought I'd try something different. Now, this video is dedicated to two of our great friends, Alex from Texas and Darren from New York. Alex sent us a really nice gr uh, griddle a long time ago and Darren brought me over a fantastic um, step down transformer so we can use things like this because this draws over a thousand watts which is incredible. I burned up so many of my <laughs> step down transformers <laughs> until Darren brought this one. So what I'm going to do today is I took three potatoes and I scrubbed them down in the sink with a brush and then I ran them across. I have a little uh, like a slide grater thing, slicer, slicer grater thing and I left the skin on them because there's no reason to take the skin off of them, I don't think. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt today to make some hash browns. My other ingredient is Golden Fiesta soya oil. I'm hoping that's soya bean oil, but here you don't never ever know what you're gonna get. So I guess let's let's try here. Okay, I'm gonna turn this baby on once. Okay, we have lights. It's got a little built-in fan to it. Not really sure what temperature to to run the griddle on. Okay, there's off. Warm. I'm thinking probably about what? 300 degrees to get started. Now the, the gauge went way up here. That's pretty cool. So it's definitely drawing power. Wow, it's instantly hot. That's pretty good. Oh, let me set the camera down once and see what I can do here. Let me go up here. Get around the other side here. Sorry about this. I wasn't really prepared. There we go. It's a little crooked, but it'll be okay, I think. Heating up. Maybe a paper towel and some oil. I don't know how much oil to put on here. But... Paper towel on here, make sure that it's all over. It's been a while since we used this. Cooking in the house here because it's in here I can have a fan in between filming and not so many bugs in here. It just drives me nuts. So I'm just kind of spread them out on here a little bit. Probably more potatoes than one guy can eat, but no, that's a really nice grill, uh, griddle, Alex. Very, very nice. Okay, it's kind of flattened out a little bit on this. That's about all I need to do. Anybody has any tips or anything? I also, when I got done grating the potatoes, I took them in the kitchen and I rinsed them off maybe three or four times. 
and then squeeze out as much of the water out of them as I could. And I'll just turn it down a little bit to about 275. Looks pretty nice, huh? So I'll also put a little uh, salt and pepper on them, I think. This is something I don't usually get is I put salt and pepper on my food after it's cooked because Murphy doesn't put pepper on usually. But that's good because I don't like too much pepper. I just like a little bit. And I'll get some salt here. Probably plenty of salt. Throw the rest outside. And then in between tastes, I've got this fantastic fan that Darren dropped off for us at Christmas time. And thank you again, sir, so much. You, you don't uh, you don't know how special this kind of things are. And Turn that baby on, it's like a airplane. I'm gonna sit down in front of it and watch the potatoes cook. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I kind of blocked up the potatoes a little bit, hoping they'll kind of cook into a patty. They seem to be doing okay. I sprinkled just a little bit more oil on them. Sorry for the fan, but it's fantastic when I sit down. And I'll be back. All right, it's been about maybe five minutes or so. I'm not real good on time, but should have been keeping better track, I guess. We're still at about 275 on the temperature. Not really sizzling much, but still pretty loose. Now they're not quite ready to turn yet, but I'll, I'm going to turn them anyway, I guess. Probably an arch of this. One to turn them and stuff. And they're yeah, slightly brown, I guess. Got to bunch them up again a little bit. Hard part I have with potatoes is letting them sit. Uh, I always had that problem cooking American fries. You always want to go in there and turn them over. You got to wait about eight or ten minutes before you touch them, which I'm sure hash browns is probably the same way until they get nice and crusty, I guess, in the bottom. They're starting to get a little translucent, so they are cooking, but. Batch is a little oily, so there's probably enough oil on it. All right. All right, let's see what we have now. Now they're getting a lot softer. They're not real hard, though. Maybe the temperature needs to go up a little bit, I'm not sure. That's a little brown there. Yeah, I'll thin them out a little bit.
been about 10 minutes, I think. I think that may be done by now, but I don't know. Let's up it just a little bit. I'll go up to about 290 maybe. Kind of finish them off as I get a little crust on both sides. I'm thinking right now that Uh, they're not totally soft yet. All right, well, the potatoes have really gone down in size. Not really browning up, crisping up like I thought they would. I've read articles or watched videos where they're supposed to. Uh, when you grate your potatoes, you're supposed to um, put them in ice water and soak them for a while and then drain the starch off them and stuff like that. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. And you don't usually see them done with the skins on them, but um, for me that's where as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's, I guess that's semi-brown on the top. I guess it's getting crispier. I put the thermometer or the, the temperature up to 300 degrees. I don't want to burn them because I don't spend all this time on them. But kind of pack them down a little bit here, maybe, and they might need more oil too. I'm not sure. And again, there's an art to it. I should get out, maybe later today I'll get out of, uh, maybe get a video and see the official technique again. Because, you know, there's a hundred different techniques on everything, so. All right, well, I'll give them another, say, four minutes on this side, flip them over one more time, and then uh, I guess heat a burger up to go with it, and I have some peaches so it should be a real nice meal only I'm missing is some fresh rice would have thought about it I could easily cook that because we have a rice cooker but I never thought about it I've been here too long I really like rice uh, when I don't have rice in my meal it, it's just not the same but I don't know. <laughs> it's coming along now here's something interesting as the griddle turns on and off, the fan slows way down. Let's see if you can hear the difference here in a second. The griddle only stays on for a second or two. The lights on in the griddle. You hear this good the difference? We've got pretty weak power here. When the lady's refrigerator across the street turns down, sometimes my fan almost stops. It's so bad. Much we can do. All right, I think they're done. Oh yeah, I think they're done. Crisping up a little bit. Oh, sorry for moving the camera away there. I hear the microwave chirping at me. Back in a second. All right, well this is what I wound up with. I have a nice plate of hash browns, a couple of McDonald's burgers frozen, heated up, and a bowl of peaches, and my Arctic tumbler. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that, guys, let me tell you. Not much better than that. So I put a little, <sighs> a little salt and pepper on here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of salt. I don't have a salt shaker, but I like lots of salt for some reason. <laughs> 
the rest outside quick. All right, let's see what we have here. Can't go wrong with the burger, I know that. And some hash browns. Still just a little chewy. Yeah. They're okay. Not great. Yeah, a little still a little stiff yet. And that peach. Mmm. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Give me some tips and stuff. I'm not very good at this. Also, thank you again so much to Darren for the step down transformer and for Alex for sending the griddle. And uh, we really appreciate everything. Everyone's done for us. More than you guys can ever imagine. So that's all I have for now. Thank you and have a great day. I know I am.